Hey there, everyone. Welcome to another Let's Play Disco Elysium. I'm Samuel. And I really want some of these dice. There are millions of them laying around in this I know. Workshop. It's so cool. Actually, I had other questions. Good. I hope it clarified things a bit. What else? I've heard this place is cursed. Did you know that people call it the doomed commercial area? I've heard the stories, but I don't think those stories are true. Pleasance is the one who sent me. She's convinced that the place is swarming with malicious energies. Pleasance, the bookshop lady? I've heard that her business is doing rather well. Have the energies spared her somehow? Oh, we are not doing number one. <laughs> yeah. Actually, the bookstore isn't doing that well. She hardly has any customers, and she has to exploit her own daughter to keep the company going. All right. But it's not just the bookstore that's still up and running. What about the whirling in racks? Some people say it's part of the building complex. <laughs> that's wrong. Oh, that is so wrong. Part. Hold on, the whirling, it, whirling is part of the doomed commercial area? You could say so. Both houses were built at the same time and under the east of the Commerce Central project. You're right, the whirling doesn't really look like it's cursed. And then there is me. <sighs> oh, she sighs looking at her messy work table. All kinds of tools lay there, scattered from knives to carving files to wire cutters. I've been here for 14 years. Selling novelty dice to role-playing enthusiasts. Not exactly a million real business idea, yet somehow I've survived despite the talk of malicious energies. Strange, isn't it? Maybe it's just because she's so talented that she's been able to woo the curse. No, I think it's because she doesn't necessarily have a lot of overhead because she doesn't have to pay rent because she's squatting in an area that she doesn't belong. <laughs> It's because you're competent and dedicated to your craft. The cursed. <laughs> well, I liked the beginning of that sentence until I got to the other part of it. <laughs> Number three is just wrong. Yep. I'll be the first to admit there are many inconsistencies in this so-called curse. I was just about to ask, what do you think? Do you think the curse is real? Time has come to face the source. Fear not, for the forces of the universe are supporting you in this psychic quest. I'm starting to see that there's no curse, only business decisions and natural market fluctuations. Exactly. Truth is always so disappointingly mundane and boring. But I'm glad we got this sorted out. Anything else I can help you with today? That's all she has to say on the subject. She's been thorough and truthful, as far as we could see. Is there any reason to not do that one? I mean... I mean, it's legendary, and it might lead to some emotional damage or other stuff. <laughs> uh, okay, we're just going to leave that one for now. <laughs> yeah. I'm listening. Good. I hope it clarified things a bit. I'm almost what tempted, else? but that means I'd have to but, pay her some royale yeah, probably to do it. We've only got 3044 to her name right now, and we uh -huh. need to. How much do we need? Oh, God, I've forgotten. <laughs> More than that. Something? Yeah, something like that. Oh, and we only played it out for one night, was that correct? Yes. And that was by pawning what's his name spinner tires cheapest uh-huh well that was also paying off like what well, let's take our shortcut shall we instead of no which means we've got to go this way i was going the right yeah, direction the shortcut was in the basement yeah yes so we can go around and inform
Now I do have to ask, uh, are we the worried that this is gonna... still glowing red. It's gone. Is there any chance that the body is gonna meld in there? Didn't she say something about... Oh, hey, slow-mo be raided. Oh, slow-mo be. Thank you for the raid. Appreciate it. Uh, apologies, was not looking over. <laughs> We don't do all the fancy stuff whenever we're recording Let's Plays, obviously, but still, thank you for the raid. Oh, God. We we have to now, right? You're alive and well. Don't keep me waiting now. What's in there? In that dark sarcophagus. The dark sarcophagus? Pause dramatically. Yes, yes. How was it? Tell her how ghastly it was. You know it's <laughs> what she wants to hear. Honestly, a dump. Nothing to see there. It's just heaps of garbage. Someone should let the sun shine in. But what else did you find? Did anything survive? No, of course not. Have you located the entity? I talked to the entity you told me about. Her name is Nia, and she's a novelty dice maker. A novelty dice maker? Well, spit it out. Why does she need the dice? Ugh. Some kind of sorcery. Sometimes they use the ankle bones of sheep. I hate being right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she's not a sorceress or some malicious entity. She's a businesswoman like you. I don't understand. If it's not her, then where is the source of the doom? How did she explain the curse? The narrative she's built herself, it does need tearing down. She's squeezing oh. on the pendant too tight. A drop of blood in her palm. Just don't say you don't have any answer yet. The uncertainty is killing her. To hell with it. Perchance you ought to just lie, sire. I don't think lying would be... She says there's no curse because there are too many inconsistencies. Hmm. Too many inconsistencies? What kind of talk is that? Who are you, John Cleese? Uh... <laughs> Good luck persuading her. Some people can rationalize anything. As I said, she's a novelty dice maker. Her business has been up and running for a long time now. Yes, because her business consists of the psychic leech that's been feeding the curse. Red blotches appear on her skin. I see that you've fallen for her manipulation, detective. The investigation is over. I just hope that you haven't made anything worse by going in there. Thank you for nothing. Please, do buy some books, or be on your way. She concludes tucking the pendant away in her blouse. Wow. Total psychic collapse between you two right now. There was never any other way this could have gone. She's just too far gone into her own mind. I am sorry we had to disappoint you, ma'am. Can we go now? Farewell now, book peddler. I still want to talk to the girl. What, the girl? Yeah. Hello again, sir. Okay, yeah, it's... Okay, yeah. I was hoping that we would be able to ask her, like, about the game or something like that. Because, uh, you know, having a mom like that, of course the kids have to be into D&D, &D, right? Oh, okay. It's just 20. We just had th that massive bill because of our little stint. Oh, excellent. So, yeah, we could have bought die pretty, uh, possibly. Run the number on the victim's armor. Oh, yeah. Wasn't this supposed to take a day, isn't it? Shouldn't it be done now? I can't remember if we did that before or... Inside, 
You see a set of steering levers, a radio microphone, a put- This is Precinct 57. How may I assist you? Have you heard back from the ICP about the serial number? Yes. The armor was produced by Fairweather in their facilities in Betancourt, sur la clé in 42. It was part of a special order for Corps de Pharmacie, a security firm contracted to protect the interests of Iranese pharmaceutical companies in the Seminine conflict. So, it seems the armor went to Seminine. That's where the paper trail ends, though. Even the firm has proven difficult to track. Corps de Pharmacie has been renamed several times over in the years since the armor was issued. Do you know what it's called now? The most recently registered firm that the ICP has been able to connect to the CDP is a military contractor called Trinel. And the one before it was down well. I think they might be the same contractor. A suit of armor like this would have been manufactured with a particular person's physique in mind. You should ask for whom this suit was fitted. A suit of armor like this would have been customized to fit the wearer. There must be some record of the person to whom it was issued. Yes, but the ICP tends to be reluctant to sell private sector records. I could try to talk them into it, though. This is a fun challenge for her. An opportunity to contribute beyond doing her job by rote. She'll gladly put in the extra effort for Team RCM. Yes, thank you, officer. I really appreciate your efforts in this case. Glad to help. Call back tomorrow. Hopefully I'll have more for you then. 57, over and out. In the cabin, you see... have an idea of something I want to do. What was that? I'm though? very glad we did not go back and get the crowbar now. <laughs> yeah. There was someone that we didn't talk to because we got distracted. The lady on top? Yes. The... say have you ever played games uh, where time was like dilated in like a really strange a sturdy way sturdy metal door guards the southwest entrance to the apartment building it's locked the door rattles against your knuckles but there's no response the door rattles again but this time you hear an elderly woman's voice calling out from inside stop banging on the door i'm not letting any more strangers inside this is the police. Open the door. Ha! The police? Everyone knows the police don't come round here. But I'm not joking. No. I already told you. I won't be responsible for any more strangers getting into the building. Who are the other strangers? Door. Maybe someone there will. She trails off, leaving the sentence unfinished. Backyard door. There must be another entrance to the east. Because we've got to get up there to that woman. Mm. Unless we can do it from down here. The streets will flow red once more. A great Come. torrent rushing down Rue de Esperance. You wait and see. The girl stares at the sailboat by the pier. The streets will not flow red with anything. Who are you? I'm Cindy the fucking skull. What Jesus. else do you want to know? Date of birth, blood type. The last time I was tested for Hep C. Uh, <laughs> Almost like three always seems to be the smart tail answer, so I just I'm tempted to go with three. <laughs> like the total smart aleck response. Mm -hmm. Just answer some questions, okay? Ask away, Pigman. But I don't promise to answer. Pigman. 
Hmm. You know, we're looking for someone that calls us pigs. About my gun situation? I am leaning more toward a member of uh, the strike, or not the strike, a member of the people that were on the uh, top of the gate. That's true. Leaning more toward one of those having it, since yeah. uh, what's-his-name knows all about it. Uh-huh. Never know. They just said it's a woman, that's why. But anyway. A brush, an artist, the red splatter is urban expressionism. You keep looking off to the side. What are you looking at? The lieutenant is desperately searching for another handkerchief. She turns her head to the fa to face the coast and nods disdainfully towards Joyce, performing maintenance on the boat. Hatred, disgust. It's difficult to tell which of the two is more present in her girlish features. The woman on the boat does not notice her staring. That Ozon her. Someone's got to keep an eye on her. Ozon is an archipelago, two days travel away from Rivershaw. Its moneyed residents used to posh restaurants and upscale boutiques rarely have reason to visit Martinez. You mean Joyce? On a first name basis with her, are we? Piggy's moving up in the world. Absolutely. <laughs> Why all the negativity? Have you got a crush on her? Aching for an opportunity to defend her honor. What are you doing to the wall? Can't you tell? I'm painting a beautiful mural, an aereo graffitio visible from low orbit. I haven't really started it yet. I'm waiting for the right words. So you don't know what to write? Have you ever tried your hand at graffitio? When faced with a blank wall, most people write unimaginative stuff, like pigs go home and Mono is here. We rarely see pigs round here, though. Just union cads. And my name's not Mona, so... She wants it to be something true and total. Why are you so committed to defacing the building? This place is severely lacking in havoc. Not even the occasional trash can fire to break up the tedium. I thought I'd mix it up, you know. Summon the forces of crime and social chaos with a wall-sized invitation. I have an opinion on this. Want to hear it? Yeah. Wait a minute. What was the public art thing, the crime case that we uh, were trying to recall? Mm. Because I'm trying to remember what our answer uh, was on there. I love public art. Don't mind us. Keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> Gonna have to ask you to stop. I mean, we're not doing three. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure. Or if we are thinking that she's the one that's got the gun, are we trying to butter her up with number one? Maybe. Is that also going to piss off the people that are in the building? Uh, that woman pissed me off already, so she can <laughs> she can get graffiti on the building. I don't. <laughs> Somebody's going to have to clean it off, though. <laughs> she can do it with her and her gun. Uh, just shotgun it right off. That. <laughs> Was that a gun or a broom? It might have been a broom, but it looked like a gun. <laughs> hey, any Oakley's got a, a 20 gauge broom. I love public art. Don't mind us. Keep doing what you're doing. Thanks. I'm sure the inspiration will come to me now that I have an official RCM stamp of approval. She means the opposite. You've lessened her desire to deface the building. <laughs> Do you know anything about the recent murder? I ain't no snitch, Pigstein. Go forth and forage in someone else's shit. No shortage of squealers in these parts. Funny, could you point me out some? <laughs> Actually, 
There is a shortage of people who talk to us in a normal, calm, informative manner. Thanks, Kim. <laughs> we weren't put on this earth to make your life pleasant, fucko. Catch you later, Sandy. Watch your back, ungular. You've got eyes on you. Oh. Hmm. Also, I love the smoke trail. That is just absolutely beautiful, the way that they did that. It was nice, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Also, there are certain lines that are in this game that are just absolutely beautiful. Uh, in the previous uh, session that we did, we had the mind is a drawing. Oh, the mind is the drawing board of history, which I thought was wonderful. Mm. In this one, we have go forth and forge in someone else's shit. I mean, the game is just something that keeps on giving, and it's delicious. Can't take it back. Get a hold of a sad song on tape. Keep looking, maybe someone else knows something. Kim and me were going to try to run a thing on this woman. Well, do we want to check the cleaning lady again? I'm I'm curious if she would have any different things now that we talked to the stranger. What her? Yeah, I'm ju I'm just curious. A sturdy metal door guards the southwest entrance to the apartment building. Kim, it's tell locked. tell her we're real policemen. Madam, I assure you, we are real police officers. There is no reply. Just faint sweeping sounds inside. Okay, it was a broom. Okay. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine sweeping with a shotgun. <laughs> All right. Bristles on the butt of it, right? <laughs> Multi-purpose. <laughs> oh, no, no, I didn't admit. Um, that would be dangerous sweeping like that. Now with it pointing up. You go, it go down. all tears of the kingdom with it. Fuse things. You're back. I have Good. not played yet. What can I help you with? <laughs> Me neither. I'm still working through Breath of the Wild. Um, do you know something about these tattoos? That's the man who was killed. I'm Jump. afraid this is a discussion for once we've cleared the lynching question. So you know something about the tattoos? I do not tie the fourth day to the bat's day on this. I hope there is something else I can help you with. She wants to answer the question. Protocol keeps her from it. You're on a boat. Why, yes I am. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they caught me off guard, but anyway. Not a lot of people on boats, are there? Of course there are. We're on an archipelago. How else are you supposed to get around? Wait, we're on an archipelago? Yes, we are. We are on Le Caillou. Um, Caillou? I thought we were in Revachol. We are. And the city of Revachol is on the island of Le Caillou. Still haven't seen anyone else sail a boat around here. I haven't seen anyone else drive a souped-up Coupri Kenema motor carriage either. Actually, that motor carriage has been specially issued to serve as a patrol and pursuit vehicle. It's for crossing long distances in the Greater Revachol Industrial Harbor. It's not a toy. Neither is this. A toy, I mean. It's a machine for crossing long distances in the Bay of Revachol, between the city and the islands. You need to make this lady admit she's only riding around on this boat because she's rich. Um, why? Why what? Stop thinking. Take her down. Why am I even thinking about this? I have police work to do. Have it your way. I think I have a handle on the boat thing. Good. <sighs> so we have a decision we... to make since we screwed up the one thing. Mm -hmm. There's the alleged drug trafficking which is technically doing a favor for her. 
of course, he's trying to get to do, both sides of this are trying to get us to do a favor, right? Mm -hmm. <sighs> do we just want to be honest with number two? Is that going to completely shut down her quest, though? I don't know. By the way, I've talked to Everett Clare. You have? And how did you like Mr. Clare? Finally, time to choose sides. It's not <laughs> So tempted to do seven. Just It's way too wishy washy though. I mean, let's be honest, neither of us like the guy. <sighs> um, I wish to uh, number six just feels wrong. Um, I didn't. How did you like him? I didn't. Okay, oh, that's come on honest. Now. He has his uses. How else would he have stayed in power all these years? Or wait, actually... She answers her own question. Corruption. That's how he's done it. Fantastic, verm-like corruption. Reaching into the bowels of the earth. She looks at the ground and nods. The position of my unusual colleague does not reflect official policy. I hope you understand. The RCM does not pick sides. Of course. And I don't expect you to share anything he told you with me. I'm not a corrupt verm myself. However, if you felt like discussing something, how could I stop you? <laughs> Are we not human? Are we oh, not God. curious to hear another person's take? It's only natural. We would only be gossiping. Intellectually speaking. It would be quite interesting to hear what she has to say about these things. Yes, your disgusting necktie agrees completely. It's <laughs> gossip. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. I'd rather talk about something else for now, if you don't mind. Of course, Detective. Should something come up later down the road, don't be afraid to drop by for a chat. Until then, is there anything I can help you with? <sighs> okay. Mm -hmm. Here's what I'm thinking. Because I've, I've had to. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's pushing us in this direction, right? Mm-hmm. If I, as a human being, have to look at the two sides of this situation, we're either dealing with a mafia guy, or we're dealing with corporate. <laughs> that is essentially also, our two options. <laughs> can we also take a step back and appreciate the way that she described corruption and worms on the ground while she's floating on the water? Yeah. And describing herself as not corrupt. I mean, yes, it's on the nose, but I still love that. Mm, right. <sighs> I mean, I'm with you. I don't think that there's a middle area. It's gonna. The game feels like it's gonna force us into one of the two yep. uh, avenues there. Um, so, if do we want to make a choice now, or do we want to do seven and just walk around for a little bit? <laughs> I mean, I also, if I'm going to be taking one of the two down. I'd probably prefer to take down the drug trafficking, but then again, that's a personal bias on my part. I'm going to tell you that right now. Um. What will it... Uh, whenever taking down something like that, especially in some place that's economically unstable as this area, is that necessarily the best course of action? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not Nancy Reagan, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
no, 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 no. I just mean like uh, I feel title like for the episode. Taking... Uh... <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm not Nancy Reagan. No, <laughs> um, <laughs> no I'm ser- I'm curious. Like, what the? Re- Why am I worried about the repercussions of a completely fictional world now? Because is... they've made a good one. That's exactly. Oh. We don't also, necessarily to... have to act on it. We could get all the intelligence we can and then make a decision. We could uh, tell her, okay, we've heard about this old gem and inside of the punch bag <laughs> we've amphetamines. Okay, tell me about this alleged drug trafficking. It's quite straightforward. Someone is using Terminal B to smuggle raw ingredients from the Samaran Isola into Revachol with the Union's blessing. Wild Pines has suspected it for years. Ingredients for what, ma'am? Meth and dextroamphetamine, GBL and various <gasps> synthetic psychedelics. Honestly, it might be quick to say what you can't make from the stuff. Let me get this straight. The, material, the materials come from Samara to Revachol through the terminal? Yes. After they clear the terminal, we lose track. The actual production is taking place at various sites in and around Jamrock Quarter, north of here. Wild Pine seems to be well apprised of the local drug trade, ma'am. Do you mean to say the Union also produces the product? Sells drugs, I mean? We're in logistics. It's our business to know. And no. As far as the company knows, the Union does not produce it. They transport the ingredients for a cut. Was this the borscht thing that we got caught on? Uh, no, the borscht thing was putting vodka in there. To oh, get right. The right, right, right. Yeah, okay. And you want us to investigate. Yes, but you won't get anything out of Evrat and the Dock Workers Union. Still, every chain has its weak link. The handoff. The motor lorries at the roundabout. The lorries? Precisely. Someone needs to move the ingredients from the harbor into the city. Once they reach Jamrock, they're distributed to a network of local manufacturers well beyond our grasp. But in transit, they are vulnerable. Perhaps you've noticed that a number of lorries are tangled in a traffic jam at the roundabout just now. Interview the drivers who are still hanging about. One of them might be waiting for a crucial shipment. She gives a knowing look. I'll be explicit. If you find this driver, I will share company secrets with you. I love it whenever the game talks down to me because this is exactly what I needed to hear. <laughs> and I'm not being facetious about that at all. I mean, this is... I'm uh, blunt. Uh, Any time that the game can be blunt with me, it's like, look, here's what you need to do. You know what? Hold my hand right through it. Why didn't you come to the RCM earlier? We did. On more than one occasion. Apparently, there's some sort of inter-precinct disagreement about whose jurisdiction this area falls under. We know the company has launched its own probe into the Union's alleged involvement. We also know it's come up empty. It's not just the RCM. No one's been able to find any hard evidence. Well, here's your chance, officers. It's no coincidence the lorries are stranded there like that, is it? No. We asked East Motor Track to raise the drawbridge. The road company is a partner of one of our subsidiaries. However... She pauses looking at the scene. This is a limited time opportunity. Once the complaint has been processed by the trade committee, they'll have no choice but to lower the drawbridge, and the operation will continue. She looks north. Thousands of litres of raw ingredients will pour onto the streets of Revachol. Not the east across the river, but the west. The vulnerable. The weary. Well, at least this solves one mystery. What is that, Lieutenant? Why I had to call East Motor Track and beg them to open a drawbridge for me. I'd wonder since I first drove in on my motor carriage. I am sorry for the inconvenience, Lieutenant Kisaragi, but we need them trapped here. This is a unique opportunity. I'm sure you understand. What proof do you have that the Union has evolved? How do you think they're financing this strike? There are thousands of unpaid dock workers going strong for the fourth month straight. There was a shakedown of local businesses preceding the strike. Many were squeezed to bankruptcy to fund it. With all due respect to these desert cacti, the contents of a few cash registers cannot provide for 2,000 men. 
the local businesses can scarcely provide for themselves. So you think the strike is being funded with the source of ingredients for drugs? Precisely. Smuggled out of that very gate at night, most likely. Then loaded onto lorries and driven to Jamrock. You simply need to find one driver who will open up to you. Do we shy? Um, what about number four? We already have some suspicions that one of the drivers was present at the lynching. The two might even be connected. Or not. Though, if you have evidence to the contrary, I'm eager to hear it. As eager as I am to share it, Lieutenant, once the job is done. <laughs> well, Shay. Like I said, I'm not working for the other guy. That I've already no, made my right decision right. on that slimy SOB. <laughs> He's oh, threatening me did. personally. I am not bowing down to him. <laughs> we kind of already did, though. No, wait, we interrupt. He wanted the Borscht to have vodka. We told him no vodka. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we've already thrown wrenches into plans. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, I'm okay with this. The enemy of my enemy is my friend sort of situation. Until this one, I mean, corporate will always find a way to oh. backstab you. Oh, us. yes, yes. But <laughs> I feel like the game is forcing us at this point to make some sort of decision. <laughs> Are her? Does her sh overcoat color coordinate with the sails? It kind of does. It's nice. <laughs> It almost looks like the sails are, with the little seam pattern in there, it looks mm -hmm. like it's a shirt with a tie. Yeah. Nice. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, and... this boat is corporate through and through. Yes? We'll take the case, probe the drivers, see what it yields. Excellent. According to my reports, there are at least three lorry drivers lingering near the roundabout. Hopefully one of them will know something. It may come to nothing, or it may just blow the case wide open. I can keep the drawbridge up for a few more days at least. You should have the time you need. In the meantime, let me know if there's any other way I may be of assistance. She takes another long sip from her seemingly bottomless thermal cup. Of course, detective. Kim is going to have a talk with us, I have a feeling. Oh, of course. A bag. You, uh, are we able to recycle this now at the place now that we can pick it up? Oh, the bottle's laying on the ground. Can we pick those up? Now? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Well, okay, let's see here. Oh, okay. That's exactly what we can do now. Uh, what about back by the trash can? I can't tell if that's a bottle or a can or something. I don't know why, but picking up the trash just, it feels Still fine. Here. Oh, is that Stuck another in this damn jam, my man. What's hey, up? Tommy, long time no see. I don't like that for an intro. Ah, man. Uh, no. Me and narcotics go way back. Had some if... good times surfing the psychic waves of my own consciousness, you know? But those days are behind me. 
There are other addictions in my life now. Why the inquiry, my man? Uh, number three just feels like the wrong way of going about it. But at the same time, Tommy, Tommy seems really personable. I don't yeah. know why. He was one of the few people that I've liked in the game. I know, right? We have a credible lead, sir. Someone on this roundabout is waiting for a bell shipment from the harbor to load it on their lorry and drive it to Jamrock. Not me, man. No way. I don't need any trouble. Shit's bad enough anyway. This jam's got folks up in arms, and I'm afraid it's headed toward a conflagration. Who do you think could be conducting the drug trade, then? Look, man, I try to stay away from the criminal underbelly of Revachol. I'm a guest here. You really need to find another man to probe with those questions. We wouldn't say he's lying, sire. That's one. Mm -hmm. Oh, so is that a bottle? By the... What? Right behind you there? Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, can't get it though. Okay. <laughs> So here's the fun. Now there's going to be random trash around the place, and I'm going to be paranoid about it the whole time. Oh, more trash. Also, are there any? Was there another way, like south of Tommy, there to get deeper into the roundabout? Uh, I'm going around this way and seeing what happens. Okay. Ooh. I don't know if we should pick that up. That feels like a trap. Okay. Uh, I was paranoid. <laughs> the woman still has her eyes fixed on the photograph in her. Was that right there so is there any way to get the bottle off of the uh, grating beside the human ox tank oh yeah just north of it there He's a lorry driver. The redhead guy right there. I mean, we're not allowed to talk to him, so. Oh, gotcha. All right, truck drivers are also in here. Tommy's just outside. I thought there was a way to go south of Tommy there. I might be remembering. There that. was, but it just leads to the top of a lorry, and then. Gotcha. It's essentially. Oh, our guy is up and moving around now. Let me handle this. The woman says to the cr to the crowd in the mess hall before turning Detective to you. Detective disorientated. She's are you still wondering where you are? This is Martinez, in case you've forgotten. I advise you not to overstay your welcome. Her entire character has shifted. This young woman is cold as ice. I know you're not a gardener. That's right. I am not a gardener. I'm a legal counselor for the Dock Workers Union. She crosses her arms. So let's get to it. You're looking for Titus Hardy? You think he has information that will help you? Maybe he does. That's Titus. Talk to him. But know this. I'll be keeping an eye on you. No strong arming. Nothing official. The district of Martinez 
does not recognize your authority to make arrests. It doesn't matter if you recognize our authority. We will make an arrest if we have to. She says nothing. Her glare speaks for her. Could this be the Miss Beaufort that Easy Leo mentioned? The one Mr. Everett sent to law school? What's your role in all this? Like I already told you, I'm a legal counselor. Do you have hearing problems? Are you Lizzie Elizabeth Miss Beaufort? I suggest not wasting time on trivial pleasantries and focusing on why you are actually here. Titus Hardy. She points to the tall man by the table. Even though she has excellent control over herself, something moved behind her eyes. In the way she stands, in her face. You caught her off guard. Push her some more. Easy, Leo told me about you. He likes to talk a lot. You are not here to chat up the legal counsel. You are here to question these men. You set the pace and the topic of these conversations here. Establish that. A man like Easy Leo could have said anything. Do not be restrained, sire. You said Mr. Everett sent you to law school? I represent the union and these men here. Don't make this personal. A very minor victory. Why are you so aggressive? Aggressive? You make your living enforcing violence. These people are just dock workers. Just dock workers? Do dock workers spy on the police? We let you off easy, miss. Don't think it will happen again. Listen, you moral intern lackeys. You're a mob. Enforcing the unlawful privatization of Revishal. Twenty fat men in the Occident are stealing it all. And you're their bodyguards. Fuck yeah. So ask what you came to ask. Or get back to your commanders. I would not go with number two. No. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Let's ask those questions. Let's. I'm curious with number f four. Well, no, because I uh, don't want her to whip up all of the dock workers that are in there. Mm-hmm. What if I want to talk to you, not Titus? What you want is of no significance, officer. Don't test your authority. In Martinez, you are no one. I saw what you were thinking. You want to say, what are you going to do to me? Don't. Just because it's in your head doesn't mean you have to say it. <laughs> when even your own crazed brain is telling you not to. <laughs> I should talk to Titus then. It's a bowl. There's spit in it. Reeking of tobacco. Photos of men in overalls, toting guns, and union placards. This is where you say your bed. The broad shouldered man points at you with a beer can. Detective. The lieutenant acknowledges you with a sharp note. He's leaving it to you. We need to talk about the man hanged out back. Oh, this is about him. A real looker, that one. You sure took your time, huh? Waited for him to get real ripe and pretty for you. Oh, he was a real pretty boy. Hanging up there, letting out that pretty boy smell. I can't for the life of me understand why you did it. I mean, I would have just left him up there. You must really like cleaning up other people's shit. 
You might want to start asking your questions now. It's not going to get better than this. Do a head count first. Connect these men to the tracks you saw in the yard. Chances are they're going to match. Scan the room. Starting from the right. Boot size, 44. Blonde man, in his 30s. Overbearingly masculine, sitting on his right. Standard working boots. Size, 45 or 46. Eldest in the room. Probably mid-50s. Smoker. Quiet. Across at the other table. Hobnailed working boots. Size, 43. Gang tattoos. Mesk or Sarah Maritzian in his late 30s, early 40s. He spent his youth in Villa Labos, a housing project in the Jamrock Quarter. There were incarcerations, hard to say what else. The ink is fading. And then, standard working boot, steel reinforced toes, size 46, the big dick, wide at the shoulders and lean at the hips, rugby cap, fingerless gloves, and numerous scars a little under 40 i freaking loved that shay <laughs> just literally sherlock the entire room exactly the emblem on his vest says rowan club a little patch below it reads t hardy captain in the far corner standard working boot steel reinforced toes size 44 40 something non-alcoholic beverage in hand you squint is that a plectrum and the little guy size 41 with the light step not a child after all an older man with a rat face mean watery eyes and two front teeth missing in the middle heaving and wheezing big guy boot size 46 deep marks probably carried the victim over he alone is 130 kilos. Add the man in armor, and you could easily exceed 220. In conclusion, these seven are the actors on the crime scene. The footprints were theirs, but there's a discrepancy. One of them is missing, the odd soul. Exactly. You've stood there for about four seconds, not saying anything. Hit them with questions. Where's the eighth Hardy? The fuck is with you, fella? The man hanged in the backyard. Did you do it? The pretty boy. You guys really love talking about that pretty boy. Funny, but my partner and I have a serious matter to discuss with you. Hmm. Two different ways to do this. Do we go with that? Um. I think if we answer or start with that, then they're just going to say we walked out uh, there. But uh, I think you'll be able to blow that off. I'm leaning more toward the top one. Okay. Why is there a container belt around the dead man's neck? Container belt? Like we use in the harbor? Yes. Why? Because we took it from the harbor where we work. Then we went out back and used it to hang him. We did this. He just admitted together, it? All of us. Until he was dead. That's why there's a container belt around it. No, 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 no. Don't, don't do that. Well, or this one? <sighs> well, there's just, there's, neither one of these is exactly nice, so to say. <laughs> I... Oh, he's doing this with his counsel right there? Mm-hmm. Because they don't respect us, they don't like us, we are not going to do anything with you. <laughs> so essentially, he's talking to a dude because they don't recognize the police. Man, I got pissy all of a sudden. I don't... <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> I am flabbergasted at this. Anyway, uh, continuing on. Uh, yeah, number one. We'll go with number one. Now. So you just confessed to murder? Goddamn right. No. These... Seven honest men have equally come forth. They told you what happened so that you don't waste any more of your time. All seven together. They're diluting responsibility. It's an anti-arrest tactic. 
Um. Yo, I'm leaning toward. Why, why did you kill him? Yeah. Why? Why did you kill him? Why? Cause he was worthless mercenary scum, and he stepped out of line in my town. So he was a mercenary. That's it. I am. He stepped out of line. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you threatening me now, bucko? <laughs> what kind of mercenary? The kind that shows up when you start a strike. The experienced kind, too. Had Kohoi and Semenine written all over him. ex oranese special forces. A live grenade. Right here in our bar. This one has a special gripe with him coming here. I can't prove it. Wait. No. He was sent by the Hang on. Lines. They hired Eugene... a ship like that. Story of every strike from here to Samara. Eugene's the guy drinking a non-alcoholic thing and he says right here in our bar? Yeah. Okay. Bars still serve non-alcoholic drinks. I know because I'm the guy that usually has to order them. Uh... <laughs> I just, I, I, Eugene is kind of rubbing me the wrong way a little bit, so. <laughs> Continuing with Titus. Hold on, how do you even know he was in Special Forces? Because one night, he walked straight up to the mic and said, I'm on an ease, goddamn Special Forces, and I'm gonna fuck you all. Really? Yeah, really. Had a gin and tonic up there, sang some r and paratrooper song, and said he's gonna fuck everyone. We couldn't believe it either, but he fucking did, right there, like some kind of animal. Sire, the tale is true. This is a serious violation of the karaoke code. Okay, besides crimes against karaoke, what did he actually do wrong? Wrong? He harassed women, raped one, harassed Whoa. workers, threatened to kill some as a warning. From rape to harassment? To threats of violence. Why the strange de-escalation? He regrets Does he view it as a de-escalation? Hopes you didn't notice. To kill us all. If we don't open the gates. If we don't let the scabs in. If we don't bend over. And that was before he started coming here. Yeah. He said it was his favorite joint now. Started coming here every night. Drinking. Grabbing girls. Grab one of ours mid-karaoke, right there on the stage. He grabbed someone? The lieutenant is trying to make sense of this <sighs> flood of information. Yeah. Wait, is that this the... This girl's on the mic. A beautiful girl. Young. Gets into the second verse of Love a Lake. The fucker grabs her legs, starts screaming. Show me your cunt! Why don't you show me your cunt? Then, he gets knocked on the head with a wine bottle. Doesn't even fall down. Was Wait this, a minute. Was this the same Are, girl who was sexually assaulted, raped, you said? Aren't you fucking listening? My man is talking to you. He took care of it. They got the girl out before anything else could happen. Yeah, me and Eugene got her out. Aren't you fucking listening? I'm trying to. You. <laughs> There's something odd here. Yeah. Seems like they don't want to talk about that rape Titus mentioned. Why not? This is a serious allegation. Make them talk about it. Agreed, Brain. Right, but who did he rape then? This is a very silly, serious allegation. No, you're not getting a name. That's a Martinez matter, and I'm not discussing it with you clowns. There's nothing you can do for now. He's stunned on you. <gasps> Is she the odd soul? It's possible. Who was the one calling the shots that night? Are you deaf? There will be no singling anyone out. You can't arrest a hardy boy without arresting all hardy boys. Do you think you could do that? Do you think you could arrest them all? 
A shadow of a smirk passes her lips as she tilts her head. A trick question. Don't let her lead the conversation. Doing that would play into what she's going with, right? Just continue on with him. I feel like she's going to shut it down after that. But then again, letting her lead might uh, shift the balance more. Um, uh, 50 50 shot. I'm leaving it in your hands. Flip the coin. <laughs> no, but seriously, who calls the shots around here? Who do you fucking think does? Yeah, I would. I was gonna point out uh, her, Elizabeth. I thought she did. <laughs> do we want to do yeah. it? <laughs> I I kind of think because it kind of feels like it is because might get us punched, but. <laughs> He's uh wants to be the guy in charge and everything, but he's essentially taking orders from her uh right now. She's the one that choreographed all of this, so I I kinda feel I thought she did. It wasn't a question, Dickwad. How fucking stupid are you? This asshole is worse than Titus runs the Hardy Boys, genius. That's why we're called the Hardy Boys. Ain't that right, fellas? Gotcha. I think you got your answer, <laughs> Mr. Law. Yes, there are some administrative differences. But on that night, they all acted as one man. More to find out about this, but we have to wrap it up for now. If you guys... <laughs> If you guys want to find all of our other Let's Plays, head on over to tscn.tv slash play. And until next time, play on and see you guys. Later. This has been a production of the Samcast Network. tscn.tv What's your passion?